Hey guys, it's Trevor with High Desert Tactical and winter is finally showing its face here on the high desert. What's that mean? We got rain, snow, sleet, ice, whatever mother nature wants to throw at us, you gotta deal with it. One of the things that I need to do before it gets too wet is condition my boots. These are my Danner Corvallis GTXs. These boots I use for hiking and I do use them for work. I have been kind of exceptionally mean to these boots this year. I haven't conditioned them except for one time, which was last winter. And what the problem is, is since I use these for hiking, the dry weather and all the dirt and dust that we deal with here in the high desert is very harsh on the leather parts of this boot. Our dirt and sand and whatever is around here is actually a volcanic ash. And so it actually does have a lye content to it. So the lye will actually get into the boot and start breaking down the leather fibers. And what's really bad for these boots is if I allow this dust to be all over these boots and then later this winter get them wet. It just basically lye washes the boot and just even speeds up the leather degradation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preserve or clean and then preserve my boots with Obanoff's Heavy Boot LP, which is leather preservative. This is actually a beeswax and tree resin based preservative not petroleum uh, grub cat loves to use snow seal which is a petroleum based leather waterproofer but acts acts as a preservative as well if you're interested i will pop grub cats uh, snow seal videos down in the description box below let them know that i sent you over there if you're interested in what he's doing to get started go ahead and unlace your boots this is going to make things a lot easier when you're applying the open offs Next, you're going to want to grab a boot brush and scrub down the boots as much as possible to remove any dust or debris. Be sure to scrub down in the tongue area and underneath the lace areas of your boot to get any hidden debris from there. Next, you're going to want to grab a rag, roll it up into kind of like a little rag doobie, if you know what that is. Fold it in half, and that'll be your applicator. Just rub the Obanoffs onto that rag as much as possible. It'll take as much as you give it, no problem. Rub down your boot, making sure to get all the stitching and the nooks and crannies of your boot. It's super important that you get really hectic on it, and don't be afraid to rub her down. Make sure to scrub into all the lace grommets and lace cleats. These areas take a lot of amount of pressure and stretching, so the more supple the leather, the more that's going to last. And again, don't forget to get underneath the lace grommet area and onto the tongue, because that's a highly abrasion area where your laces do a lot of stretching and pulling onto the boot and that'll make it last a lot longer. Don't forget to scrub down deep into the corners and edges of where the leather meets the sole of your boot. This takes a lot of traffic and a lot of abuse so the more supple the leather is down there in the stitching area it'll hold. Don't forget to rub the lace grommets and the stitching. Apply a lot of the LP to the boot toes because they take a lot of abrasion and this will really help preserve the boot toes. Don't be afraid to use as much Obanoffs as possible. The boot is going to take a dark color but that's okay as long as you care about your boot surviving the color shouldn't match. Anyways everything goes with black. After you got your boot all rubbed down and everything's been smeared in there and gotten every nook and cranny and are all around the lacing and the grommets and just every bit of leather has been treated let the boot sit overnight and then lace her up and you'll be ready to go. With this treatment, it'll definitely keep it preserved. It'll keep your leather in good condition and it'll also waterproof your boots a little more than they already are as it is. To keep up on it, you can take the Obanoff's leather oil, which is also a really good preservative and conditioner, but it's faster to use because it's in an oil form. The other thing too about the leather oil, it actually works a lot better for leather jackets, car seats, leather interior vehicles, uh, gloves, any kind of dress leather, tack, things like that. This works really well for preserving already treated leather. But if you guys need to take care of some old worn down boots like mine, I definitely encourage you to do the Heavy Duty LP by over Obanoffs. It's a great product. I will give a link down below to their website and then you can probably get that stuff from any boot boot store or sporting goods store that sells hiking gear and things like that so that's all i really wanted to share with you guys let me know what you think check out grubcat's website or channel 
and let them know that High Desert Tactical sent you. I appreciate everything that you guys do and all your time. This is Trevor. Take care and be safe.